Should be able to find some uh, raccoons out here, I think. What was that? Probably not this time of the day. The hell is that? Oh, it's a bird. Bad. Hey, buffalo! Neat! Aren't they gorgeous? I wonder how dangerous these creatures are compared to the ones in real life. Are they hurt just like cattle? What we got here? There we go. That's one. Prairie poppy. Come here, little doggies. Dinner time. <laughs> oh, God. We pissed in the wind on that one, Marston. Let's try that again. Oh, shit. There we go. Hey, no! Hey, no! <laughs> Buffalo, do not play possum! <laughs> you full bastard! You were the cleverest buffalo of all! But you aren't smart enough, are you, cut man? <laughs> right? <laughs> this game is kind of brilliant at times. <laughs> Because of its glitches. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Hey! Nope! Hey! Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe the buffalo is trying to stop, drop, and roll, right? They toss this in Buffalo School. They say if anyone ever, you know, chucks a bottle full of flammable liquid on you, you should roll around. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, this place looks a bit familiar, doesn't it? Oh, we got a stranger here. Hey there, stranger. Can I talk to you from horseback? A word in your ear, sir. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Maybe. Looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is in my business, the worst policy. Yes. I see. Now. There is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me, and I'll pay up the reward for your services. Okay. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be Which day is that again? Blackmail photos. Okay. We'll do that. But let's see what this is first. Bear... One another's burdens. I hope that... I, I just had to stop because bear! Oh my god, there could be a bear! <laughs> like I enter the office. There's a bear sitting at the desk. 
Holy shit, a bear! No, actually, that's the governor. The governor. Nate Johns is a grizzly. What? Look at the gassy estate. I should have known there, right, Elder. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116, 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. Are they pictures or what? And blow a fucking hole in your head right here, <clears throat> right now. You want that, Mr. Marston? You want that, Mr. Marston? I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Like blackjack or poker. Sellers of Catan. All your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. We're really, you should put the gun under his chin right now. Yet, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Oh, yeah? Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. Up to you, sir. For whatever reason, the bandolier looked especially shiny in oh, that Mr. scene. Marshall, one more thing. This is for you. Neat. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. So it looks like we got a 1910 or a 1908, I think, Browning. I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Hey. Mr. Marston, <laughs> you're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. I thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. It's a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. I'm not sure why it's a French policeman who's took me in. Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Huh. Considering what kind of assholes they are to Marston, they let him have that pretty easily. Oh, I can't whistle for... Oh, man. I want... I want Lewis to follow us. I'm tempted to get out and whistle. <laughs> Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you 
always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're operating in. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. There I wasn't. Such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. Are we there, there yet, Mom? Come on. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this? I want Lewis here. The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp here. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Man. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. <laughs> Howdy, friend. If you want, you can take a seat by the fire. <laughs> Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. All righty. I, I was going to say, I still can't whistle for Lewis. There he goes. Do I only have two, ten shots? No. Stay close. 69. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I don't like this place. It looks particularly deadly. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. Then informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. We use our new gun, actually. This place is a high power. Browning high power. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. <laughs> okay, there, guy. The skate noise. Is there anything in here? Feels like they're gonna try to sink me in this fucking place. Hurry, there's somebody up there. I'm trying, man. I cannot find the stairs of this damn thing. <laughs> Stupid. 
Still up higher? Not in here. Or the stairs. Man, this place is very hard to navigate. There must be a ladder or something. Not on this side. Come on, Martian. Ah, here we go. Oh, we can't go any higher, so he's on this deck. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's a reporter! <clears throat> Nasus, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this! A man. trap! I don't think Holy shit! Oh my good God! Bastard! We need to clear a path out of here! Ow! Oh, I can shoot. Neat. Eat nine mil, bastard. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was a big one. What the hell? They got these guns, too. Ow. Now let's go. We need to get the hell off this boat. Yep. Wait, well, you gonna steal my legs? Hmm? I'd like to see you do it, Count Waffle. Gun is pretty satisfying. Lewis, what are you doing over there? Let us hobble for great justice. Ain't no need to die, friend. Pretty damn good shot one-handed, Martian. Lewis, no! My word. Come on, Luke. Man, don't help her anything. Busting my goddamn ass. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? This is our informant man. Carson, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Oh, there will be. Well, our rebels. They look a uh, very Native American, don't they? Got a lot of turquoise. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Ford. Oh, the high powers 45? Huh. We'll try to get that Lamont revolver as well. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some you such. Just shut your mouth. Oh, the excitement.
Gotta admire the suspension of this old ride. Huh, is that another car broken down the road? Kinda looks like it. A rattlesnake out there. Watching us go by. Come on, not now. Well what's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Let me guess. Yep, yep, yep. So we get to fight alongside the mustache. Holy shit, that's a few of them. I guess I'll shoot that big guy. I want to take out their more mo mobile units first, if I can. Aww. I was just about to have fun. Ring ding ding ding. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring. Dang. Ring ding 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 ding. Because you can fight more than 20 men to one. So much for this automobile yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now, try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation.